If you've got a pair of jeans that you need to roll up and you want to keep them rolled up, I'll show you a simple way to do that. With most pants, you can simply cut them off and hem it underneath and you're done. But with jeans, that is very difficult uh, and more involved than you need to make it. There is a very thick seam here that very few uh, sewing machines are gonna be able to get through without a needle breaking. And so just simply rolling it up and stitching it in place can be done invisibly and quickly. I'll show you. While how. wearing the pants, go ahead and turn up the cuff to the length that's needed and pin that spot till you get them off. With this single pin in place, take a second pin and slide it between the two layers so that you can mark this exact crease at the bottom. We want the fabric to be able to be opened up, not pinned to itself, so that's why we're doing it this way. All right, we used the pin on the inside so it looks like this on the crease, and we can now remove the first pin. Now we'll uncuff the pants, and there's our pin. Now we turn up the cuff. In our case, we need to turn the cuff three times so that it ends right there. So we've got one, two, pull it tight so it's even all the way around, and three. The pants are turned up three times, but not high enough because the pin is still not visible until we keep rolling. So our third cuff needs to be wider. So just roll it a little higher until the pin is visible and pull it tight so it's even all the way around and you've got the right length. I'm using an upholstery thread because these are gonna go through a lot of wear and tear and I find that this lasts longer. Now that we've turned it up to the right length, find the seam which will be very, very thick. Pinch and turn it inside out so that you're now going to have a very thick roll but you know right where to put your needle. So with my fingers underneath here, I can feel the edge of that cuff we just made. This is the top edge of the cuff. Um, we're going to start not on the seam, but out an inch or two from the seam. You'll be able to feel it poke your finger down through on the other side. But if you only poke part way, you'll get the hang of it. Then you'll just get the back edge and not the front edge. I'll show you what I mean by turning it over. So you cannot see the needle here, but it's stiff inside. So it's only gone through one layer. That way your stitches are hidden. You'll get the feel of it. You're gonna only go through that, uh, leave that one layer and then, okay, obviously you need to put a knot in first, which I didn't do, so I'll show you how. I just wrap it around my finger once and roll it off. Once it's rolled off my finger, keep another fingernail or two right there and pull. And that makes a little knot. So there's our first stitch. We'll do another. You could just take a few steps back and go one stitch at a time. I'm feeling underneath so that I can tell that I'm not stitching in a visible way on the other side. I'm gonna continue along here. Now, I'm not gonna go all the way around the entire uh, pant leg cuff. I have found if you just go over this thickest seam by a couple inches, that is enough. It's the part that wants to unroll the most. Now, here we go. You have to, um, this is so thick, you're not gonna be able to get your needle through. So, as long as you're lined up here, I'm just making sure I'm lined up, we're going to, do the same thing, just go down in. You're basically going around the hump, okay? And under. Don't break your needle trying to get up through the hump. Just push it through wherever you can on the other side in that cuff. I often can't get it through because it's so thick. Um, if you can't pull it through, if it just won't come through, you can do something like this, This um, find something hard and just press down like that and that will give you 
a better chance and you won't injure yourself. <laughs> I don't have a, uh, a way to push down in there any better. So this is how I do it. It will come through. There you go. Now you got around the toughest part. So we went down all the way over here and came out all the way over here. That's a very long stitch, but it will still work. So we're just going to backtrack, go forward again as we were on the other, on the first side, and then we'll make a knot. And then we'll do the same thing to the other seam and call it done. Okay, now that stitch came through. I wasn't checking and feeling like I should have been. And um, usually you don't see it at all. Now to knot this, I do the same thing. You're just catching one layer on the other side and take your last stitch, wrap around the needle three times with your thumb on top, pull it through. And then you do that twice and that works like a knot. Put your needle halfway Take the thread from your last stitch, one, two, three, push it through. So this was only about three or four inches, and on the other side, you don't see anything at all, except on this example that I just did, you can see one of the stitches here because I didn't see that, I didn't feel that with my fingers underneath. Now here's a example of one where you can't see it at all. This is all stitched down and it's invisible. Now that we got the first side done, we'll stitch the second side. Now, these rolled up jeans will not come unrolled when they're in the wash, which these definitely need to be put in the wash, but I'll tell you what, they're gonna fit next time and they're not gonna get torn up at the bottom. 